Shalom from Israel. A few words about spiritual warfare and what's going on in the world and in Israel. So there's many friends of Israel, many Christians who pray for Israel, stand with Israel, and it's wonderful, praise God, we need you, it's important. But there is also many movements against Israel, many political movements, demonstrations, and most of the protesters in England, in America, and other countries in Europe, uh, they are actually Muslims who immigrated to Europe and they go with Muslims way and that's okay, we're used to it. But uh, what's really concerned me, it's uh, to see uh, Americans, to see Europeans who are uh, being brainwashed or being uh, lied to and they actually standing against Israel and standing for uh, what so-called Palestine and Palestinians. What does Bible speaks about it? So God gave us very clear promises and he said to us in the Bible that he's going to send out Israelis uh, 2,000 years ago. They're going to lose your land for disobedience uh, and it happened in the past. But then God said, but my covenant is eternal for you. So by the end of the end times, I will bring you back to Israel. I will restore I will give you this land and I will bless you and prosper you and protect you. Meaning there will be war, there will be resistance, but I will protect you. So when we think of biblical prophecies, when we think of uh, promises of God, uh, how can we understand as Christians what's going on in the world? What happened here? I can tell you very simple. People who uh, screaming out and saying free Palestine, people who saying from the river to the sea Palestine will be free, they actually speaking about elimination of the nation of Israel, destruction of the nation of Israel, saying Israel have no right to be in this land, which is actually against the Bible, against the words of Jesus, against the biblical prophecies, against the God himself. Because God said, I will re rebuild Israel, I will bless Israel, I will restore Israel, and I will protect Israel. So people who standing on the side of the protesters, people who protest in Israel, they participating in the spiritual warfare of the last days. It's very dangerous, it's demonic, because there's many demonic spirits were released in Gaza and through this event in Gaza to the world. Now now it's judgment time when people will take positions and uh, everything is uh, uh, growing and accelerating and people will stand on the side of darkness or in the side of light. But once again, when people stand against Israel, people stand against God himself. And I pray for all those people that they will be saved and they won't be on the side of, of with enemies of God himself because the organizers of these protests, they know what they do. It's demonic, demonic powers. So as Christians, our, our, our call is to bless Israel and to bless all people, to bless our enemies. That's what we do. We do bless our enemies. We do bless uh, people in Gaza. We do pray for them. But of course, God is restoring Israel, rebuilding Israel. God is going to show his glory more and more. That's his promises. So uh, praise the Lord, you are on the right side. You don't stand on the enemy side, Satan's side, but you're standing on the God's side when you support Israel, pray Israel, and bless Israel. There's many curses. Right now, lots, lots of curses going on around the world. Thousands and millions of people cursing Israel. But you know what? God doesn't care. It is a spiritual battle, but God has a last word. And he said he's going to, he will continue to bless Israel, protect Israel, and true Israel, when all the world will watch over Israel, and that's already happening right now, through that God will release blessing over Israel and judgment all over the nations for good or for bad, depending on what side uh, you are, uh, I am, and others. So blessings from Israel, and let's pray, as Bible said, Shalom Yerushalayim, pray for the peace of Jerusalem.